The 34th United States Congress was a meeting of the legislative branch of the United States federal government, consisting of the United States Senate and the United States House of Representatives. It met in Washington, D.C., from March 4, 1855, to March 4, 1857, during the last two years of Franklin Pierce's presidency. The apportionment of seats in the House of Representatives was based on the Seventh Census of the United States in 1850. The Whig Party, one of the two major parties of the era, had largely collapsed, although many former Whigs ran as Republicans or as members of the opposition party. The Senate had a Democratic majority, and the House was controlled by a coalition of representatives led by Nathaniel P. Banks, a member of the American Party. <laughs> major events March 30, 1855, elections were held for the first Kansas Territory Legislature. Missourians crossed the border in large numbers to elect a pro-slavery body. July 2, 1855, the Kansas Territorial Legislature convened in Pawnee and began enacting pro-slavery laws. November 21, 1855, large-scale bleeding Kansas violence began with events leading to the Wakarusa War between anti-slavery and pro-slavery forces. December 3, 1855 to February 2, 1856, the election for Speaker of the House was the longest and most contentious Speaker election in its history, due to sectional conflict over slavery and a rising anti-immigrant mood in the nation contributed to a poisoned and deteriorating political climate. No party had controlled a majority of the seats, and more than 21 members vied for the post of Speaker. The election took 133 ballots and two months with Nathaniel P. Banks winning over William Aiken Jr. by 103 to 100 votes. Banks, a member of both the Nativist American or Know Nothing Party and the Free Soil Party, served a term as Speaker before Democrats won control of the chamber in the 35th Congress. January 24, 1856, President Franklin Pierce declared the new Free State Topeka government in Bleeding Kansas to be in rebellion. January 26, 1856, First Battle of Seattle, Marines from the USS Decatur drove off Indian attackers after an all-day battle with settlers. February, 1856, Tintic War broke out in Utah. February 18, 1856, the American Party know Nothings nominated their first presidential candidate, former President Millard Fillmore. May 21, 1856, Lawrence, Kansas, captured and burned by pro-slavery forces the sacking of Lawrence. May 22, 1856, Representative Preston Brooks of South Carolina attacking Senator Charles Sumner, beating him with a cane in the Hall of the Senate, for a speech Sumner had made attacking Southerners who sympathized with the pro-slavery violence in Kansas. Bleeding Kansas. Sumner was unable to return to duty for three years while he recovered. Brooks became a hero across the South. May 24, 1856, Pottawatomie Massacre. June 2, 1856, Battle of Black Jack August 30, 1856, Battle of Osawatomie November 4, 1856, U.S. presidential election, 1856, Democrat James Buchanan defeated former President Millard Fillmore, representing a coalition of know-nothings and Whigs, and John C. Fremont of the fledgling Republican Party. November 17, 1856, on the Senoida River in present-day southern Arizona, the United States Army established Fort Buchanan to help control new land acquired in the Gadsden Purchase. January 9, 1857, the 7.9 MW Fort Tejon earthquake affects central and southern California with a maximum Mercalli intensity of Ix violent. Topic: Major legislation. August 18, 1856, Guano Islands Act, ch. 164, 11 Stat. 119. Treaties January 26, 1855, Point No Point Treaty signed in the Washington Territory, ratified March 8, 1859. Proclaimed April 29, 1859. 
July 1, 1855, Quinault Treaty signed, Quinault and Quileute ceded their land to the United States, ratified March 8, 1859. Proclaimed April 11, 1859. <laughs> Party summary The count below identifies party affiliations at the beginning of this Congress. Changes resulting from subsequent replacements are shown below in the Changes in Membership section. During the elections for this Congress, opponents to the Democrats used the Whig Party label inconsistently and not at all in some states. Hence in this Congress, and in accordance with the practice of the Senate and House, representatives not associated with the Democratic Party or the American Party are labeled as opposition. This is the first example in U.S. history of a form of coalition government in either House of Congress. Senate House of Representatives The parties that opposed the Democrats joined a coalition and formed the majority. The Know Nothings caucused with the Opposition Coalition. Topic: Leadership. Topic: Senate. President vacant. President pro tempore Jesse D. Bright D. until June 9, 1856. Charles E. Stewart, D. June 9, 1856 to June 10, 1856. Jesse D. Bright, D. June 11, 1856 to January 6, 1857. James M. Mason, D. From January 6, 1857. Topic: House of Representatives. Speaker: Nathaniel P. Banks a Democratic Caucus Chairman, George Washington Jones Members This list is arranged by chamber, then by state. Senators are listed in order of seniority, and representatives are listed by district. Senate Senators were elected by the state legislatures every two years, with one-third beginning new six-year terms with each Congress. Preceding the names in the list below are Senate class numbers, which indicate the cycle of their election. In this Congress, Class I meant their term ended with this Congress, requiring re-election in 1856, Class II meant their term began in the last Congress, requiring re-election in 1858, and Class III meant their term began in this Congress, requiring re-election in 1860. Skip to House of Representatives, below. Topic. House of Representatives The names of members of the House of Representatives are preceded by their district numbers. Topic. Changes in membership The count below reflects changes from the beginning of the first session of this Congress. Topic: Senate. Topic: House of Representatives. Replacements: 6 Democrats, 2 seat net loss. Opposition, 4 seat net gain Deaths, 4 Resignations, 5 Contested election, 1 Total seats with changes, 10 Committees Lists of committees and their party leaders Senate Agriculture Assault on Charles Sumner Select Audit and control the contingent expenses of the Senate 
Claims Commerce Distributing public revenue among the states select District of Columbia Finance Foreign relations Indian affairs Judiciary Military affairs Militia Naval affairs Ordnance and war ships select Pacific Railroad select Patents and the Patent Office Pensions Post Office and Post Roads Printing Private Land Claims Public Lands Retrenchment Revolutionary Claims Roads and Canals Tariff Regulation Select Territories Whole Topic House of Representatives Accounts Alleged assault on Charles Sumner Select Agriculture Claims Commerce District of Columbia Elections Engraving Expenditures in the Navy Department Expenditures in the Post Office Department Expenditures in the State Department Expenditures in the Treasury Department Expenditures in the War Department Expenditures on Public Buildings Foreign Affairs Indian Affairs Invalid Pensions Manufactures Mileage Military Affairs Militia Naval Affairs Patents Post Office and Post Roads Public Buildings and Grounds Public Expenditures Public Lands Revisal and Unfinished Business Revolutionary Claims Roads and Canals Rules select Standards of official conduct Territories Ways and means Whole Topic. Joint appointments Enrolled bills Topic. Caucuses Democratic House Democratic Senate Topic Employees Architect of the Capitol Thomas U Walter Librarian of Congress John Silva Meehan Topic Senate Chaplain Henry C Dean Methodist Stephen P. Hill, Baptist, elected December 8, 1856. Secretary, Asbury Dickens. Sergeant at Arms, Dunning R. McNair. Topic: <laughs> House of Representatives. Chaplain, William H. Milburn, Methodist. Clerk, John W. Forney of Pennsylvania. William Cullum of Tennessee, elected February 4, 1856 Doorkeeper, Nathan Darling Messenger, Thaddeus Maurice Postmaster, Robert Morris Sergeant-at-Arms, Adam J. Glossbrenner Reading Clerks, Data Unknown, Missing See also United States elections, 1854 elections leading to this Congress United States Senate elections, 1854 and 1855 United States House of Representatives elections, 1854 United States elections, 1856 elections during this Congress, leading to the next Congress United States presidential election, 1856 United States Senate elections, 1856 and 1857 United States House of Representatives elections, 1856